Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to uninstall built-in apps and also prevent them from reinstalling during a Windows 10 update. Now this is quite a common problem and a lot of people uh, want to uh, remove apps and keep them removed and stop them reinstalling uh, once and for all and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now if you're a Windows 10 home user you want to go to start settings and you'll see here this is your settings pane inside here you need to go to your app section and you're going to need to remove all of the apps from the computer before you can prevent them from being reinstalled. This is where your apps and your features are going to be inside apps and features section and you can see we have Candy Crush and a bunch of other apps inside here. Just remove all of the apps that you don't want to install. Now you may see there's some that are greyed out. And these will need to be removed in PowerShell and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first let's just remove one more here inside here by using the uninstall method here. So let's go down here and look for Skype. This will allow us to uninstall it from here. And you can see how quick and easy it is to uninstall from here. Just remove all the apps that you don't want on your system and the apps that you don't want to be reinstalled during an update process because these will always be put back on the system during an update unless you prevent it. Now let's go ahead and remove some of these via PowerShell so you can see how easy it is to remove them in PowerShell. Now we'll leave a list of these for you so you can just copy and paste these. You can find more commands online to remove some of the ones that you don't want on here as well if they're not listed here but it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. You just copy and paste these commands into PowerShell and it will uninstall these from the system. So let's go ahead and uh, copy one of these. There we go. So I've copied this and what we're going to do now is open up PowerShell as administrator by right clicking on the start button. And I'm just going to open up the apps area here so you can see it removed. There we go. And this way you'll see it just drop off the screen once I use the command. So we're going to do the Xbox here and I'll show you how to do it. So just open up PowerShell, right click run PowerShell with admin and I move it to the side and now I just paste this in and push enter and you should see Xbox remove from the left hand side there there we go and that's now been removed and you can do this for all of the apps that you don't want on the system okay now I'm not going to bore you and show you every single one of them being removed I'll do that off camera but here we have the registry file which you can use to uh, run on your system and this will prevent them from being reinstalled during an update process. Now you can get this information off of Microsoft themselves. You can see it up the top here. This is basically what you need to do to how to keep apps removed from Windows 10 from returning during an update. And this means all of those ones we've just uninstalled. And it's quite frustrating, but once you've got this set up, you won't have to go through this uh, palaver anymore. So you can see here create a registry file with these keys and it will say something like deprovisioned apps and this means that they're going to be stopped. These are the provisioned uh, ones which are going to allow it to come back on and all you need to do is add that uh, registry key there which will say deprovisioned and it will stop them from being installed on the system and I'll show you how to do that. This is the code here and you can add this to your list and there's a big list of them on Microsoft's website which you can just copy and paste into a registry file and I'll show you how to quickly create that right now I've already done it here and if you want to remove any of these okay so don't just run this have a look at the list and determine what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep if there's something on here that you want to keep then you're best to remove it say for instance you might have something like calculator so you can see the command here is to remove the zoom video and this is to deprovision it and stop it coming back on the system once you've removed it if you want to keep that, then delete it from the list. So let me just show you here. Uh, there's one here, say calculator. If you want to keep calculator, just highlight this like so. And then all you have to do is push the delete key on your keyboard and push the delete key again. And that will then put the uh, list back as you can see here. So all we need to do now is going to save this and save as and call it whatever you like, really. I'm going to call it, um, say, for instance, App blocker and uh, dot reg which is for registry and you can go to 
all files and click save and we're going to save this to our desktop and there we go we've now got that done and this is our file here so now we've got all the apps uninstalled that we don't want we can run this file and this will tell Windows that we don't want these apps to be put back onto the system and it won't reinstall these apps anymore no need for any third party applications to be installed on the system this is how you can do it if you're a Windows 10 home user. You can even use this if you're a Windows 10 professional user, if you wish, or any other version of Windows 10. It's entirely up to you. It's quick and simple and easy to do. And that's pretty much it. I'll leave the link here for all this information uh, in the video description so you can read it at your own leisure. It's very useful and uh, nice to know. You can see that was for version 1709, but they're pretty much good enough for uh, the 1903 version of today. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's been useful to you. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Uh, thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.